happen right now. The United <laughs> States Championship is on the line. Here is the challenger. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE United States Championship. Cursing first, the challenger from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 245 pounds, William Regal. Remember, it was supposed to be a triple threat matchup in the Great American Bash, but Bobby Lashley was taken out of action because of a medical condition. Elevated enzymes by general manager Theodore Long. It ended up being one on one. Regal Listen versus. Listen to what you're saying. That peanut headed George Jefferson wannabe, beans don't burn on the grill. Teddy Ray Long took out Bob I Lashley because he had elevated enzymes. And from it's Bob called a yellow Island, strike. Weighing in at 233 pounds. He is the United States champion, Finley. Well, for Lashley, it's nothing to do with being yellow, but that is not what we're here to speak about tonight. The United States Championship's on the line. Former good friends Finley and Regal, who have a major history with one another, will meet yet again for the United States title. Both of these gentlemen, Finley and Regal, know each other well. Finley giving Regal that cauliflower ear he has right now in Lansdowne, England, when he was 16 years old. And there's the weapon Finley has used on a number of occasions, the shillelagh. The United States champion, Finley, set to do battle with William Regal, and that is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And Finley, Measuring his man, William Regal. Collar and elbow tie up now a go behind. Standing switch by Finley, bringing Regal to his knees. This will not be for the faint of heart, this matchup. Uh, put the women and small children up, Michael. These two tough guys from the UK, both of them. Finley, a third generation wrestler. Oh, Regal broke into the car and he's taking on all comers. Here's the cover by Finley. Kick out at two by Regal. There is nothing you can do to trick on, either then, one. Regal. There is nothing that either one can do that the other one hasn't seen. This is going to be a battle of wills. This is going to be a battle of who wants to stand in front of the other one longer. Finley, the champion. What would be his strategy, JBL, in this matchup? Oh. That's up the the strategy simple, oh. same as Regal. Oh. Outlast your opponent. That is all you can do. You're not going to trick him. You're not going to out-wrestle him. You simply have to stay there longer than oh. he does. Look at Finley stomping on the fingers of William Regal. Now remember the injury that Regal suffered in the Great American Bash on Sunday night uh, after uh, Finley's friend bit the hand of Regal, that little troll that sometimes is under the ring. Oh, and Finley driving Regal head first You've heard man. Finley speak. He is not a troll. He's a leprechaun, Michael. So luck of the oh. Irish. And Finley. Didn't you ever see the quiet man with John Wayne or Maureen O'Hara? It's actually John Wayne. And look John at Finley. Wayne, whatever. JR's got his all his memorabilia. That's the unorthodox offensive style of the United States champion Finley, who has been on the attack since the get-go. That's the way Finaki would say it, John Wayne. William Regal trying to rearrange the facial features of Finley. But this is what both of these brawlers are all about. It's nothing pretty about Finley and Regal. If you get in a barroom fight with these guys, this is what you're seeing in the ring. It's like that cross face. The last time that Finley and Regal got in the ring together, other than the Great American Bash, Finley broke his nose, gave him 15 stitches, and cracked his eye orbit. That is what these two guys do to each other. William Regal brought up 16 years old, he began fighting and brawling. The carnival's in Blackpool, England. That's typical Finley, thumb to the eye, anything to gain the advantage. But like Regal's any different, Michael? These two guys have seen it all, they've done it all. That's what makes this matchup intriguing. Oh! Finley. And, and you realize how great these two wrestlers are when they face each other. Because you realize oh. they have to bring everything they've got. Did you see that kick to the head? William Regal pulling out all the stops. Finley's in trouble. Oh, launched into the steel post. And this could be a major turning point in the matchup with the United States Championship on the line. Smash mouth wrestling. Straight knockout. That's what these two guys are specialists in. Look at this. It's not pretty. Back of the head. Watch this. Finley right into the post. Did you hear the impact? It's not technical. It is simply effective. 
Regal, who knows every trick in the book, has locked Finley up on the bottom rope and now driving the knee into his temple. You see what he did? He hooks his left arm behind the rope and then drives his knee right into his head. Finley whipped across the ring by Regal. High elbow catches Finley in the jaw. Regal putting the pressure on Finley. The United States Championship is on the line here on Friday Night SmackDown. And remember, North Ireland, made up of six counties, fought the entire empire of England, and the empire went to North Ireland and asked them for a truce. Uh-oh, Finley, great counter, Regal in trouble. Look at Regal raking the eyes and the nose and the mouth of Finley and driving the knees into the gut and the head. And what a left hand. Wow. Here's the cover by Regal and a kick out at two. Impossible to call. Oh, nice suplex by Regal. Quickly to the cover. Champion in trouble. Hit a kick out at one. Again a cover. United States title on the line. Regal into a third cover, and again Finley kicks out. Regal's doing everything he possibly can to take this title back to Blackpool, England. This is a fight. Again a cover, and again at two. Finley rolls the shoulder out. Regal determined to win the United States Championship here tonight. Another great throw by William Regal. A cover again, Chimpy in a trouble kick out at two. Again a cover, Regal relentless on the covers of the champion. And the thing is, Michael, you can't tell who's hurt in this match. They're used to fighting on instincts. They're used to drawing down deep. And this is what we talk about when we say Regal will pull out all the stops as will Finley. Taking the protect. Hey, there he is. It's that, the gun. It's that little bastard. He's not a bastard, Michael. Watch your tongue. He, he could have parents. He's a leprechaun! It's Finley's the little troll! Irish. The troll for the shillelagh! A long blow! The referee was with the, was on the turnbuckle! I have no idea what he's doing. Well, he was hugging he's behind smart. the referee! He's smart! The referee never saw the little bastard! I'm so badly! Finley rolls Regal up! He's got the tights! Finley's got the tights! Hit Finley! Regal thought he was embarrassed before! Regal has been embarrassed tonight! Here is your winner! Troll cost Regal a championship again, and he, Regal is livid. He's not livid. Regal is embarrassed, and he's not a troll, Michael. He's a leprechaun. It's the luck of the Irish. And look let's it, go look kiss it, the look it. And look at and Finley, <laughs> the audacity to slap high five on the low, damn little thing. No, no, it's a low five. That was funny. Regal throwing a fit, and he has every damn right to be upset. Does Regal? He said he wasn't going to be embarrassed. He got humiliated. Regal got humiliated.